بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد قال الشيخ محمد رحمه الله تعالى ومي الله بلسم الجنة فردوس اعلم رحمك الله أنه يجب علينا تعلم أربع مسائل الأولى العلم وهو معرفة الله ومعرفة النبي ومعرفة الدين الإسلامي بأدلة He said and may Allah have mercy upon you No and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon you that verily it's an obligation upon us to learn four things al-ula al-ilm the first thing is knowledge and then he defined what he meant by knowledge and this I want to make ishara about something very important as well so he said al-ula al-ilm he defined what knowledge is in Islam he said ma'rufatullah wa ma'rufat al-nabi wa ma'rufat al-deen al-islam bi adillah he said it is knowing Allah and it is knowing his messenger alayhi salatu wasalam and it is knowing the religion of Islam with its textual proofs and some of our brothers and sisters have been very disturbed with the fact that I have spoken and highlighted some of the issues which we need to know as a community with the da'i, the person who calls or the propagator known as Imran Hussein. And one of the key reasons for that, pertinent to what we're talking about now, is as I said, and Sheikh Muhammad said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that knowledge, he said, Al ilm huwa marufat Allah, wa marufat al Nabi, wa marufat al Deen al Islam. Be adilla, with the evidence. Unfortunately, Brother Imran Hussein, and may Allah guide him, guide us in him, I mean, he. When he speaks about Islam, and he speaks about knowledge, his knowledge doesn't reflect what the scholars of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, what they were upon, because they define knowledge as we just mentioned with knowing Allah meaning Tawheed and knowing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and knowing the religion of Islam with its textual proofs not speculating and not making metaphors with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because that will only lead you to Zandaka it will only lead you to religious heresy and possibly even just to apostate from the religion. It's such a dangerous path. And this is why we hope that the brother harnesses his own tongue, harnesses his own understanding, and, and sits at the feet of scholars and really immerses himself in true Islamic knowledge. Not just what the political scientists immerse them in. Because regarding knowledge, the as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in a very important dua that we should say and it's uh, important to say after Fajr as well Allahumma inni Allahumma where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said he asked for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase him 
عن علم نافع ورزق طيبة وعمل متقبلا. That this is a supplication you should say after the Fajr prayer. That seeking, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for al nafia And al nafia beneficial knowledge as defined by the scholars of the past, meaning the Salaf of this Ummah up until now, meaning the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala ajma'in and those who came after them, they define al nafia not as political science, not as philosophy, Matter of fact, they they define that as being the al nafir, you know, very disastrous and 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 wicked knowledge philosophy. Nor was it uh, the science of political economics or political economy, social socio economics, etc. But they define al nafir, explaining the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, in the du'a in accordance with how the Sahaba understood it as knowledge of the Sharia, knowledge of Islam. And that goes back to what we said, the first thing. Al-ilm huwa ma'rufatullah, that it's knowing Allah and knowing the Prophet and knowing the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. And not departing from that. That doesn't mean we don't study to be a doctor, study to be a lawyer, study to be a engineer and stuff. No, that's not what we're saying. What we're saying when you talk about truly beneficial knowledge that's going to benefit the community, it's knowledge, it's talib al-ilm. It's seeking knowledge of the sharia, of Islamic knowledge. Those other knowledge can be a means. And if you use them for a means, for halal, risk, and to serve the community, you'll receive reward. But it's still not what the ulama define as what is considered ilm al nafia ilm al nafia is knowledge of Allah, knowledge of the Prophet, knowledge of the Islamic rulings with their textual proofs and how to use the adila and everything pertinent to that. Then Shaykh Muhammad mentioned the second thing. And I think we'll save that for another time and may Allah bless us with ilm al nafi ruskin tayyib wa amal al May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with beneficial knowledge and bless us with uh, an expansive risk, you know, wealth that we can use that's halal and for use it for halal and deeds that he is pleased with and that he accepts. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.